Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel. I am your Tosca instructor and my name is Kumaresh. I have total 14 years of IT experience in software development and test automation. Thank you for connecting with us. Hope you are doing well. Let's start our today's session. Through this video, I will explain the overview of Tosca modules and guide you to scan application to create modules which will be required for test automation. All right. Let's start with the Tosca modules. Conceptually, the Tosca modules keeps the technical properties of any control that is referred to any test object. Basically, module creation is the first step to start with test case development in Tosca. Modules maps a page or screen for the application under test with the Tosca. The controls or the objects which are required for test automation has to be captured in module as module attributes. Tosca modules are classified into two categories. Classic modules which are created by classic engines during the scanning. And X modules which are based on the Tosca T-Box framework. All right. Let's start with the Tosca modules. Conceptually the Tosca modules keeps the technical properties of any control that is referred to any test object. Basically, module creation is the first step to start with test case development in Tosca. Modules maps a page or screen for the application under test with the Tosca. The controls or the objects which are required for test automation has to be captured in module as module attributes. Tosca modules are classified into two categories based on the architecture. Classic modules which are created by classic engines during the scanning. And X modules which are based on the Tosca T-Box framework. The icons of modules are similar to this. The each components of a module are known as module attributes and the components are known as controls. The classic modules have the classic module attributes and on the other hand, the X modules have the X module attributes. Now, let's understand the different types of Tosca engines which will help to automate any applications. Classic engines. In the early phase of Tosca, Classic engines are developed to process as though the test case information and steers the test object. There is respective engines are available to steer any test object. T-Box. The reference of Tosca T-Box framework algorithm is the basis for X engines to steer any controls. Same can be applied to steer GUI and non-GUI objects. X engines. With the help of X definitions, the X engines are defined in Tosca. The controls for the test objects are hierarchically structured through the X definition. So, the tree structure of the test objects are mapped with controls of any modules. The Tosca T-Box is compatible with the most of the Tosca engines such as Tosca XScan 3.0, NEUI Engine 3.0, Tosca AP Engine 3.0, Tosca Database Engine 3.0, Tosca.NET Engine 3.0, Tosca Mobile Engine 3.0, Tosca SAP Engine 3.0, etc. Please visit https colon slash slash lambdageeks.com slash Tosca hyphen modules to learn more on Tosca engines. Based on the usage, Two types of modules are available in Tosca. Standard modules can be imported or loaded during workspace creation. Standard modules are defined by Tosca which are used to perform very common operations such that open file, invoke application, string operations, buffer operations, verifications, etc. User-defined modules are defined by the tester during the test case automation. These modules are developed by scanning the applications. Each of the modules represents a logical functional block. Let's see the most commonly used standard modules. Based on the usage, we can group the standard modules in three categories. Those are 
T-Box automation tools which are used to perform basic operations such as basic windows, buffer, file folder, string, date time, process, resource handling etc. T-Box X Engines modules are used to perform the basic operations in different applications such as database, HTML, PDF, .NET, SAP, mobile etc. Test data related modules are used to manage the test data through the features such as test data management, test data services. These are the frequently used standard modules for any test automations. But, apart from this, Tosca provides many modules to support test automation activities. Now, we will discuss about the most important Tosca scan feature. Scanning through Tosca is an approach to create user-defined custom modules which contain all the technical information for any test applications. Tosca provides many engines to scan various applications. Through this tutorial we are going to learn about Tosca scan to create classic modules and Tosca scan to create T-Box modules. We can initiate Tosca scan either right-clicking on module folder or selecting the dynamic menu modules and click on scan icon. Also standalone Tosca scan wizard is available to perform classic scanning. I am going to demonstrate the scanning approach to create user-defined T-Box modules. Here, we are using Google search engine portal as a test application and we are keeping it open in a web browser. We will add three objects search box google icon and google search button during the scanning i am going to work with the multi-user workspace which was previously created first we will clean the tosca commander view to do so we will close all the tabs except the project view now as we are working on the modules we will dock the modules section in the tab list by selecting the plus option after right clicking on modules component in the module section the standard modules are displayed which will be used during the test case creation phase by default tbox automation tools tbox x engines and test data related modules are available Now, we will create one new folder to store the newly created modules. We can give a logical name for the newly created module folder. The scanning can be initiated from the modules tab which is available in Tosca commander header section. Or by right clicking on the folder option. After clicking on the scan option, all the scanning option is showing. As we will scan web application using Tbox approach, we will select the application option and wait for application selection screen. It will take few seconds to appear the select application screen. In the meantime, Tosca identifying and listing all the open applications which are active in the desktop. Those applications will be shown in select application screen. The desired web application need to select and click on scan button to proceed. Now the Tosca starts the scanning the Google page. After this the XCAN screen will appear which displayed the list of scanned objects. Here we will use the select on screen feature to choose objects directly from the applications. Here, we will click on search text box, Google icon and Google search button to add these objects. The three objects are added but one is uniquely identified and two are not. Now, I will explain how we can identify them uniquely. Tosca follows four different methods to recognize any test objects or controls during scanning. The identified by properties methods, the controls are getting identified based on the technical properties. In identify by anchor method, the controls are getting identified with the reference of other controls. In identify by image method, the bitmap of the objects are used to recognize the controls. If all the methods fail, we should use the identify by index method which indicated the occurrence of same types of objects. 
Always we should prefer to recognize objects by identify by properties method. In our case, first we will try to identify the Google logo object based on the alt technical property. After this the control is properly identified. Now, we try to identify another Google search button object to be recognized. After analyzing the properties, we observe that all suitable technical properties are already selected. So we have to follow other object recognition methods. It is advisable to use the identify by anchor method, the technical properties are failed to identify controls uniquely. We will use another stable object queue as the reference anchor control. If there is not properly identified controls are available, we should not use this method. With the reference of this anchor, we will try to identify the Google search button uniquely. To do so, let's drag the queue control and drop it into anchor control section. Now, the object is getting recognized uniquely with the reference of another control. It is always advisable to rename the controls based on the logical name. It will help to understand the purpose of the control's future. Now, we need to save the scanned controls to create the modules. This newly created module is available in the custom folder under the module section. We can view the control properties as parameters from the modules. The property section is available in the right side of the screen. As we are working in multi-user workspace environment, we need to click on check in all button to save the modules in central repository. Similarly, we will create few more modules for Google search. Those modules will be used in next video tutorial to develop the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. That's all about Tosca modules and scanning. We will learn more about Tosca test automation in next Tosca tutorial. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domain. You can check our other website as well. We have features like YouTube trends, Twitter trends, scientific calculator, and many more other tools. If you like our video, please like, comment and share. If you have any questions, please comment and we will resolve your query.